Well, for a game that was mostly uneventful and that it looked like it was destined to head to a nil-nil draw, we saw some history happen in this game. As Nashville FC, with this 1-0 win against FC Dallas, gets their first ever MLS win in their franchise history. Now, Frank Ojara actually got the start over Zdenek Adronsic in this game. And this is something that I think I forgot to mention during the preview, where it'll be interesting to see who Luchi Gonzalez is going to go up front, whether if it's going to be the new signing Jara or Odronsic is going to be there starting in the number nine position. And it seem, seems like Luchi Gonzalez has gone with the recent signing. And I thought Jara, you know, he didn't really do much in this game. But that being said, I'm not really going to judge the fact that because he kind of had a poor game in this one, that this means that this signing, of course, was not a great idea that Dallas has had. Because for most part, a lot of the, the player playing this game was definitely not feeling themselves. And that this is why this game was going to be very uneventful since everybody was still trying to get back into match fitness and just trying to get back, back to that sharpness that they, they had when the season, of course, starts. Uh, I also love how the Nashville broadcast before the game did the guitar reef and they had like a had like somebody they did a virtual kind of guitar reef even though it's an away game for them and I wonder if that's going to be the case that they're going to do for home and away games because you know that that is something that I think is really cool and that it's one of the more unique tradition you see an MLS team do prior to a game is about to kick off. Uh, there was also, I think, maybe about 500 to 1,000 fans at most in attendance for this game. I mean, you know, we knew that there was probably not going to be a lot of people attending this game and that Dallas even reduced that capacity from 5,000 to roughly about 3,000 people that can attend the game. Not just, not just because of the fact that they worry that a large crowd would actually cause, cause a concern that there might be an outbreak that is going on, but it's also because of the fact that nobody want to go to the game and nobody want to take the risk of going to this game and potentially get get tested positive for COVID-19 because of the fact that they attended this one. And let's also not to mention, it is a Wednesday game, so midweek games usually have some poor att attendance. We'll see what happened in the Sunday game, whether or not if there's going to be more fans attend, attend this game rather than what we saw tonight where... It looked like there was only like 500 to 1,000 people that was attending this game. Now, in the first half, as expected, the pace of this game was pretty much at walking pace. Though Dallas really had a lot of the possession. And that Nashville was just sitting back and looking to try to attack whenever Dallas were making a mistake in the possession. And they did make a lot of mistake when they were in possession. And that, that was really some of the chances that Nashville has had earlier in this game has really come because... Of Dallas just turned the ball over and it's not really just Nashville decided to try to play it out of the back and hope that they can of course create a chance out of that now they do create probably the biggest chance in the first half in the 34th minute when Mara was able to deny Leo as as that was the first real chance of the game but again for the most part the first half was relatively boring but then Nashville I thought they started to kind of press the Dallas attacker, which is kind of something that is interesting because I always thought they are a team that elected to just sit back and try to counter and trying to take advantage of mistake that the opposition had. So when I started seeing them pressing, it was kind of a little bit of a surprise. And especially when you're in this game where a lot of players are still trying to get back to match fitness. I feel like if you're going to try to start play play the press you better make sure you 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 are able to to create chances on the press because otherwise that press is not going to last very long especially how how much tire legs we have with all these players coming into this game now in the second half uh the game did start to come to life and that both teams started to kind of had half chances well it's more like both team were just trying to take take a weak shot that that the goalkeeper basically just easily catch that it, it almost feel like catching practice for the goalkeeper during that point uh nashville then started to have a lot of possession but once again one of the biggest we weakness of nashville is that when they're trying to break teams down and trying to create something in the final third they can't do that because they don't have anybody to able 
to to string some passes to able to to get get any chances in the final third and as we approach the last 15 minute it really looked like this was going to be a nil nil game and that i guess for nashville it's kind of historic too because they get their first point in their franchise history but then in the 86 minute they decided that they're not just going to settle for their first point in their franchise history and that they want to get their first win in franchise history because david akam would score from dax mccarty to give nashville a one nothing lead and then for the final five minutes i think this was probably the most exciting part of the game because dallas was really just putting unrelentless pressure on nashville and nashville their defense was basically all hands on deck there was one point i think walker zimmerman actually blocked a shot off of his face which just tells you how much of a last ditch kind of defending and just kind of kind of all hands on deck kind of defending that nashville was trying to do to hold on to that one nothing lead and the good news is they were able to hold on to this one nothing lead as again it's a historic night for this expansion team by getting their first ever mls win in terms of the shots in this game 15 shots compared to seven that nashville has five shots on go compared to four that nashville has five shots off target compared to three that nashville has five shots that was blocked compared to none that nashville has and possession wise 64 percent possession compared to 36 percent possession that nashville has uh most of the shots that dallas had came late in this game after they went down one nothing as they were just pretty much putting relentless pressure on nashville but again nashville did a great job to hold on in this game and hopefully this three points can definitely build some confidence in this team i mean i feel like going forward they still need to figure out in terms of going for on the attack where they just don't really have have that that number 10 or that creative player that can generate some chances for them. I mean, it's not not a big issue when you have a team that that look very resolute to defend like they did in this game, but it just gets to a, a point where I feel like they might need to have a guy that that can create those chances because you can't just win one nothing for the rest of the season and you expect that you're going to do something very good for the rest of the season and as for dallas this has to be a very frustrating resort because this was a game that they definitely did not play very well but again that's mostly because a lot of players were just getting back to match fitness but what's so frustrating is the late goal that they concede and that they look you know, if they get a point out of this game, game, I think they'll be happy with it alongside with with Nashville. But just giving up that late late goal like that has to be a little bit disheartening. And that this is actually one of the rare times that Dallas actually lost at home as they usually are very good at home. And that, that unfortunately, tonight, they one of the rare cases that they could not able to get even a point out of this game. And it unfortunately lost to nashville in this one but that being said let me know in the comments below what do you think of this game remember both of these teams are going to be playing against each other on sunday and i'm going to i think i'll do do a preview of that game even though there really isn't a lot to talk about in the second meeting other than the fact that maybe i'll, I'll just kind of talk about how We'll see how both team is going to look like in the second game now that both team had had 90 minutes under their belt and that is the action going to pick up again and that the players are going to feel feel like more match fitness heading into the second game. But until then, hope you guys enjoy this video and I of course will see you guys next time.